our HERO trial is a phase three uh, multinational randomized open label parallel group study to evaluate the safety and efficacy of relagolix in men with advanced prostate cancer. Uh, the primary endpoint was sustained castration through a 48 week period. Uh, 934 men were randomized two to one to receive relagolix, um, uh, a 120 milligram oral GnRH antagonist daily. Uh, versus a lupralide 22.5 milligram every three months. The oral um, once a day pill had a one day loading dose of 360 milligram. So uh, T suppression through 48 weeks was our primary endpoint. We had numerous secondary endpoints looking at uh, profound castration levels, uh, typically re regarded as a testosterone level of 20 nanogram per deciliter or less, and with corollary PSA findings. Uh, additionally, we looked at a subset of patients uh, for T recovery in both arms, 184 of the 934. And of course, we looked at uh, uh, adverse event profile, and we had a pre-specified uh, analysis for patients uh, for major adverse cardiovascular events. Um, just sort of a, as an overview, um, Relagolix is an, a GnRH antagonist as opposed to an LHRH agonist. So you don't get the, uh, the well-described superphysiologic surge of uh, uh, LH, FSH, and testosterone, but you get a, uh, the rather immediate uh, decline in testosterone. And so what we saw was a marked decline at day four and day 15 with profound castration levels as well, uh, in contradistinction to the lupralide arm. And then ultimately what we found was not only did we meet our primary endpoint of non-inferiority, where we had a 96.7% T suppression in the relagolix arm, an 88.8% uh, T suppression in the lupralide arm. And because of this, we were able to also look at a, the between group difference. And as long as it was uh, less than the negative 10% non inferior margin, which it was, it was 7.9%, we thus could claim superiority in addition to non inferiority uh, regarding T suppression. Uh, as it relates to the subgroup uh, or the subset of 184 patients who stopped treatment at the end of 48 weeks in both arms, 54% of patients in the relagolix arm uh, achieved normal testosterone levels by 90 days, whereas only 3% did so <clears throat> in the lupralide arm. And then finally, uh, uh, in addition to the daily pill convenience, the T suppression, the T recovery, we looked at uh, cardiovascular events and um, there was a, a, a finding of 6.2% of patients in the lupralide arm uh, 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 attained major adverse cardiovascular events, as opposed to 2.9% in the relagolix arm. And that's uh, uh, described as a MACE, M-A-C-E, and these are non-fatal myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke, or, uh, plus all-cause mortality. Uh, the Kaplan Meyer curve, which we demonstrated, uh, showed a 54% reduction in the risk of MACE uh, for the relagolix versus the lupralide arm. And this curve separated very, very early uh, in the trial. Uh, we're re really proud to have uh, um, uh, published our findings in the New England Journal of Medicine um, uh, uh, and um, simultaneously with our, our virtual ASCO presentation. So I really you know, would be remiss if I didn't thank all of my co-investigators and uh, my uh, co-authors uh, for uh, achieving the success of, of the study. Uh, we look forward to um, submitting uh, relagolix for regulatory uh, evaluation and potential approval. Thank you.